We've just had uh, one major fracas uh, just in the last five minutes, really, when riot police and specialized police decided to come in here, down into this little square in front of Damascus Gate. They seemed to arrest two people. They took them away. There was a big scuffle because of that. Just over my shoulder, there was a line of of the riot police they've since moved down they're trying to clear this area now there were demonstrators here for the last hour hour and a half uh, and for a few minutes things beca became really quite violent um, as they moved in now in the last few minutes it's quietened down again but they've at least taken one young man away um, to be arrested there was uh, a scuffle as people stormed down to try and uh, pressurized the police uh, not to take him away but then the riot police moved in uh, to regain order and to try and control the crowd so these kind of flare-ups these tension flare-ups uh, were expected um, and now for the time being it's, it's quiet again but of course it's this type of reaction uh, that we will see not just in East Jerusalem but in many other parts of the occupied territories as well. And to speak more about that, I mean it is quiet now and it seems the crowd has thinned just slightly but what are you expecting now going forward? Is there still the fear that violent clashes could ensue? I believe so, yes. And, you know, when you talk to the police and you talk to your authorities, they say that they just want to contain uh, whatever trouble uh, potentially may come uh, in these three days. The three days of rage has been called for by some Palestinian leaders. Uh, they, they were worried enough, I think, to allow people to go to the Temple Mount. Uh, they wanted people to carry on, uh, to, to go there and, and pray, to try and defuse any tension. But of course, it's very, very difficult to defuse what was announced by President Trump the other day. That's why this area outside the Damascus case was always going to be a potential flashpoint. Now there is, as you would expect, a heavy, heavy police presence here. They will maintain that, I think, for this Friday, for Saturday. They're hoping that things will gradually, possibly, uh, be less uh, tense by Sunday and Monday when people go back to work. But certainly, these flare-ups were expected uh, and they are happening.